Hello everybody, welcome to Python Excel 2 video. Uh, in this video, we are going to automate formulas in Excel spreadsheet using OpenPy Excel. This is second uh, tutorial video out of five. Please see the first one and then second one and uh, the rest will be uploaded soon. So please follow um, each one in order. Let's begin. So this um, this code right here is exact same one with uh, video one, uh, which you can see the link below. So I'm gonna update this one, uh, this code in order to input uh, more formulas. So let's add the summation for A13 and A a and b13 uh, the way of uh, inputting formulas is just uh, you're gonna have what you're gonna type in excel exactly in the same code that's the way you're gonna do worksheet one the cell you want and what you want to be as a formula inside let's run uh, this and have it right here okay this is uh, what we made last time and these are the the summation of this two column let's make this part a little bit better so what i did i add the uh, summation and then also the sum and then the title maximum average so yeah this is start from a and b but i want to have here and top of it like the one row and one column empty in order to do that what i need is simple i need to just make this two this one too as well so let's close this and run one more time okay you see we got this uh, distance and now I add they're in the correct order in the correct place if I open we're gonna see Okay, we, we are seeing summation, maximum, and average values. You see? All right there. So in order to add one row here and one column here, what I did, I only, I only add one to this column numbers right here. But, like this way is not what we are looking for we want to, uh, to make it automate automate and we want it to work for big and larger amount of data if we like increase this uh, L list with like hundreds then still we want it to work so we cannot do like one by one one by one so let's make a loop and make it automated so I'm gonna just go rid of this guys and then add an if statement that says if I right here I in range 0 to length of the list equal to length of the list minus one because it's gonna be you know it's not going to the uh, end of it right i'm saying if it's uh, in that level then i want it to do this for me i want to put a column as j 
okay j plus 2 so what j plus 2 what's happening here I'm saying the which column so column is the same column I'm gonna put uh, the mean sum and everything automatically and I'm saying the raw I plus 3 my I gonna be the last row and uh, I'm saying add 3 to it because already we add 2 so one more so it's gonna go to the next level then the value equal to I'm saying this you know right here we had sum of B3 to uh, B13 for example I'm gonna do it through uh, adding column letter okay plus the, the strings of the uh, row number okay row number same thing right here so you understand what I'm doing this is exactly what is going on here or here you see I'm doing that through loop then it can work for uh, every uh, type of data and one more thing I need before I be able to run I need to import from open by Excel get column letter so I get column letter and then I can add row number to it so if I run this then I will have automatically the summation added to bottom of my table this is already what we had so let's run so we're gonna have only summation right here okay so something is wrong uh, we are missing a here so then let's run yeah we got we got summation to here but these guys are removed because I already cancelled them so we want to do everything automatic right so if I add more list say still should work let's run it yeah you see so even you add more number to each column still it's gonna work so far is good in the same way I'm gonna add the average and also I can add maximum value so and then I can do some other thing so what I did I only changed this this value here and these are the same as above and also I changed the uh, row number okay the third for summation fourth and fifth for the maximum values I can do another thing as well remember how we were formatting right right here we were like formatting the cells we can format them automatically as well so let's let's define fonts so we have done this before in the first video so I'm not going through it so much 
So I'm defining font 1, 2, and 3 and giving them different colors only, the size and everything, and I have them bold. Then what I need to do is to say dot font go to the font one this one okay and then for this one i want font two for average i want to be font two which is green and then uh, for this i want for three so my summation will be in blue color my average will be in green and my maximum will be in red color let's run and see what's going happen that worked so well, i have it here for three now it should be okay yeah full was not defined run it yes summation average and maximum value so we want to make it more like clear and we're gonna have the, the headers and the titles right here for each row let's do that so in order to add the titles for each uh, rows we had for summation average and maximum we need to do a for loop which is i and name uh, gonna be the the numbers like this gonna be the zero one two and the name gonna be summation average maximum this the enumerate what it does you know it give you a, a tuple of the index and the value then almost the same way I'm saying that for column one, you know, all gonna be in column first, first column. Column one and row gonna be the length of A plus two plus I. I is for this guy, gonna be zero, one, two. It's enumerating here. And the value gonna be the name, name which is summation, average, and maximum. So we can format it as well. So we won't format it as format one let's do it format four and add one more format here mm. or and uh, put mm, green blue red but purple or Let's put blue, black. Okay, if I run it, then I should get those values there. So I got error. So error is for this one. Error did. So it should work now. yep okay now we got them and we got the values so what i need to do i want them to be like two digits it's like lots of digits here i want to two decimal digits let's do that only thing i need to do it so it was my our average right i'm gonna be this dot number format number format 
equal to a number format you can find this from excel as well this is the format that says like three but i want two or i can make it just one decimal and if i run in it okay open it yeah you see we got it so let's make a little bit change to our lists and also for l list see if everything working correctly so i'm adding a little bit of more data right here and also more data here and let's add it to this list so as we made it automatic so it should work for all this uh, values as well that's the point you know making a code let's run it okay and then it all the list we got summation average and the maximum so it doesn't matter how many columns you have how many rows you have so it's like hundred or thousand doesn't matter it's gonna work for you so if you define it in a correct way so it can work for very large and big data that was it for second video please see the next videos will be uploaded soon video ter three four and five will be for the graph and also defining a model for graph and table which is very useful thank you very much and please subscribe to see next videos thanks again have a good day bye bye